Stephen Lieb, author of the book Red Alert about China's growth impact on America, spoke with CCTV earlier about what China's economic reforms mean for the future of the country. And he agrees that the biggest deal involves the reforms on China's state-owned enterprises. The fact that China is going to take roughly 30 percent of profits from state enterprises rather than 15 percent of profits and direct those profits into public uh, projects is a very, very important sign that China is very, very serious about building out critical infrastructure, very serious about urbanization, and basically very serious about creating an economy that can survive, not only survive, but thrive in the 21st century. The reforms promise opportunities for foreign interests in banking, insurance, asset management and other financial institutions, while better positioning the yuan as a reserve currency. The yuan is going to become more convertible and probably fully convertible by 2020. Uh, interest rates are probably going to have a lot more flexibility. Investors throughout the Western world, I think, are going to feel much more comfortable investing in China and not just investing, you know, in a private equity deal, uh, taking, you know, ownership of a company, etc., but also investing in public markets. The new leadership also said it is testing measures, including one that would allow foreign investors to enter certain sectors. It is also weighing equal treatment for foreign companies versus domestic ones. The reforms appear to strike a better balance not just between the public and private sector, but also between domestic and foreign companies. And according to Stephen Lieb, these moves could shift the dynamic between China and the U.S. Basically, the Chinese have every right, in my opinion, to lecture us on, hey, Look, we have reforms that are going to take us through 2020 and possibly be, uh, beyond, whereas we can't be sure your government's going to be open past January and that, you know, you're going to honor your debts past February.